Hi, so this is week two of officially weighing in again and I am 15 stone 7.2 which is like 0.2 of a pound because last week I was 15 stone 7.4 so I'm happy with that, it's not went up uh, and I have been making an effort this time I've been trying to do raw food I had aimed to do one raw meal every single day but that's not worked out so I was just starting off easy with fruit but even then it just depends on when you're going out in the day, when you're coming back, what you've already eaten while you've been out. So I think Monday I had a big bowl of fruit and instead of a meal. Tuesday, Wednesday, I didn't. I think I still added fruit in there, but it wasn't pure raw food. Thursday, I had a big bowl of fruit as a meal again. Friday, Saturday, I didn't. Uh, I really didn't feel well. Uh, so I didn't want fruit, so I didn't have it. Sunday, so yesterday I did have a big bowl of fruit, but I did add a wee bit of natural yogurt in with it, but I'm still counting that as a raw food. So three days out of the seven that I managed to have a raw food meal. Um, I'm still continuing to drink lots of fluids. I'm still thirsty right now. Um, so the purpose of this is to bring my blood sugars down, but they've just hit 33.3 again. Um, but this week, I think with my efforts, there's been some days where I've managed to keep it under 30, which again, you know, isn't great. I'm supposed to be between five and eight. So I'm definitely going to continue drinking lots of fluids, uh, try not to have bread and stuff where possible because that seems to spike. I've stopped having coffees when I've been out with my mum, lattes, because obviously there's sugar in the milk. And the coffee seems to spike. So I don't know if it is just the milk or the coffee. If I'm having a coffee at home, I'll have decaf. So I feel like I have made big changes, but it's I'll continue to make them because trying to make changes all at once is just never works. I always get headaches. There's too much stuff going on with me that I, I, gradual, I think, is the best bet. But I think I'm going to contact the practice nurse at the GPs and just kind of asked to go and speak to her about my bloods because they should be coming down a lot quicker. I've had a few funny things go on this past week um, where I've had, I was at the cinema with, cinema with my mum and we sat down, we had a tea and I just started feeling really, really off. I went to the bathroom and I'd had a bleed and then while I was sitting in the cinema, my whole face went pins and needles and my arms and my legs, but my face, it was getting really, really, really intense. And I was like, oh, I don't know what to do here. My mum noticed and was like, do you want to leave? What's happening? I was like, no, let's see the end of the film. Um, I went to see Operation Mincemeat. And it's a kind of film that I didn't want to go back to watch half of just to see the end. So I was like, I'll wait here and watch the end. But I generally thought I was having a stroke. When the movie's finished, I tried to speak to my mum. I couldn't. My jaw was like spongy and ugh, it was horrible. So it, luckily it, it eased. Um... But I just felt rotten. And then it wasn't even a period. It just had a random bleed again. Um, so that did not feel pleasant at all. Um, I've just been really fatigued again lately. Like horribly. Like there's so much stuff I want to get done. I just can't do it. I'm sitting like the butt. I pay someone to cut the front grass because it's a field. And there ain't no way I'm cutting that this again. But last year I managed to cut the back grass myself quite a bit. Because it's not that big. But every time I look at it I'm just like I just can't do it. I just know within five minutes I'd just be ill. So I'm going to give that a miss. I, I mean, I've got to give it a miss, but I really, really want to get the grass cut. So I might have to make it a day where I just do it five minutes at a time. I just don't know. Or I'm just going to have to pay for it to have the back grass cut as well. But, you know, it's all money. It all adds up. But I did go to the salt rooms on Wednesday with my sister. So it was my sister's treat because they're supposed to help with respiratory problems. So she thought it'd be nice to see if it would work for me. So we went with my mum and we went and sat. It was an hour session. She'd got it on Groupon for £12 each. Um, we went in, sat. It was really relaxing. They played wave music and it was like nice dimmed lights. And then you just sat there. And I was meditating. I was thinking about being on the beach because I was listening to the waves and... My mum and my sister were planning what to do in the house, like what they had to do. My sister was thinking, oh, I have to move the couch and this and that. I was like, I was, well, I was having a lovely time. Um, but that night I had more energy than what I've had in a long time. I could breathe easier. I took my bins out without having to struggle. And normally I'm really out of breath and 
exhausted just taking the bins round from the back garden to the front path. So managed that, no problem, almost felt normal. The next day I still had some energy. The next day I got up and did an hour and a half on my PhD, which was great because I've not been able to look at that again. It's just something that I'm like, I really want to do, but I just, everything's just a struggle right now. So I managed to do an hour and a half on that. And then the following day, I think I had a right good half a day where I felt good. But then when it started kicking in again, I just feel rotten again. But I really recommend the salt rooms. And if they were closer, because I think they recommend two sessions a week and I could see why that would help. So if I was getting like two and a half days, you know, that, that'd be worth it. But they're in through in Edinburgh and it's just quite a drive um, to get there. So maybe it might be a once a month thing. I don't know. But I really do recommend it. Loved it. But I, what I will look into is, I think they do like, you can buy salt humidifiers and stuff. So I might try that because it really did help. I don't know if it's linked. I don't know if, because cause you're breathing it in and it, sort of stops inflammation I don't know if it did something to my gut as well because since the, the past few days my gut has been horrendous inflammation has been sky high it's been oh so uncomfortable so I don't know if maybe it's I don't know something flared up maybe it's because I sat in the sun sat in the sun for five minutes the other day in the garden and you can hardly see it but my rash flared it's calming again because I've been indoors but this my dermatomyositis rash just flares up really big. Luckily, I've got light reactor lenses, or my eyes would flare all the time. Although I can feel them tickling, tingling a bit. Um. So yeah, the 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 goal for now, I've got so much stuff. I'm like, my mum's like, you really need to go and see somebody about that. Like that was really awful in the cinema, and I was like, I know, but I just don't know how to see anymore, because. Uh, I phoned a GP like two months ago asking for an update and they said they would, somebody would get back to me. Nobody did. You know, I'm still waiting on that update. I think what they're doing is they're waiting on, they referred me to gastro to see if there's any more testing to do on my liver, but I haven't heard back from anybody. I'm at the stage where I don't know who to contact for what. There's so much stuff going on. I don't know what's linked to diabetes, what's linked to the DM. So I think my first protocol is to get, speak to the practice nurse because if I can get my blood sugars under control, I'll probably start feeling better. Plus, it's dangerous for them to be this high consistently. Like they've been they've been reading high on the meter, so that means it's above thirty four, I think. So they've done that quite consistently, and they're still up at the you know like I said today they're thirty three point three. I'm starting my days at like eighteen nineteen, so that's no good. So I need to I think sort that first, and then maybe. Hopefully I'll get my pelvic scan appointment through and I can just see what's happening. But I might even speak to the practice nurse about my concerns and she might raise it with the doctor because she's really, really good. So yeah, that was this week's weigh in. 15 stone, 7.2 and raw food was not a bad start. It could have been better, but I'm going to continue to up the fluids and get an appointment with the practice nurse. So I hope whatever you're doing this week, you have lots of fun and you get to spend your spoons on something enjoyable. See you next time.